this video, I'm going to show you how, when somebody asks you, We have Stifler. Ask everyone to rate their looks on a scale of 1 to 10. We're going to start with Cindy. We're going to go around the table. Cindy, go ahead. I'm going to show you why you should never rate yourself a 10, lest you want to be nowhere but closer to the diminishing return of a 0. But let us first get through those ratings. I am 10. Yeah. Huh. I'm not gonna run. What? So your looks. Rate your own looks on a scale of 1 to 10. Shit, uh, I don't know. 10. Uh, I don't know. Just I don't say. Know. You know. I answered for you. Yeah. Just, we confident out here, so we're all gonna say. We yeah. all gonna say 10s. Yep. Yeah. Well, mm. just, just what? 10. 10. 10. I'm gonna be realistic and just say eight. I always say that number. Eight's a respectable number. Eight is wrong. I would have been tempted to say nine or ten, but then you told me I'm a total dog face before, so I don't know. Like now, I feel like it's more like Michael. Say ten. Seven. Do you think I should say ten? Yeah, I think Thank you. I'll say ten. ten. People are composed of three things, their emotions, their mental, and their physical. And when it comes to the number 10 on a rating scale, there are three things that hang in the balance of you giving yourself that kind of rating. And you'll always hear the whole entire, all women are 10s argument, or something about confidence, which is what I want to dive into here. Seven, do you think I should say 10? Yeah, I think Thank you, I'll say 10. We all, we all need to have Thank the confidence to just say we're 10s. That's tense. very nice. We're all 10s at the table. Confidence, is, it, is that what it is? It's See, confidence? Yeah, I wouldn't like say like, I'm is? the most beautiful yeah. girl in the world. Like, no, I wouldn't say that at all. But Positive affirmation. I do think that yeah. confidence okay, matters. But the, they ask us to confidence. rate ourselves. So like, yeah. our rating, Like yeah. objectively though. Yeah. Ob yeah. Objective. Well, objectively, objectively, we're all 10s. You know, you, you say confidence. <laughs> it occurs to me that's maybe not the right word. Hubris seems okay. like a more it descriptive. It is the right word. I think confidence Hubris is the right sounds word. a bit more descriptive. Brian says hubris. And while I definitely would candor to his idea in that, because that is just what it is, I mean, if one person says that they're a 10, but another person also says that they're a 10, yet they look nothing alike, then I would absolutely give credence to hubris, because that, because what they have done is essentially run into a brick wall and said that their head will break that wall. And then they hit that brick wall and all of their hubris was for naught. But that isn't really here or there, because I, I don't mean to just rag on these women. There are also men who do the same thing, but yada yada whatever. Because what I'm here to talk about is that statement of it being confidence. Confidence is something comprised of three things, and you'll notice that I will be talking about these three things a lot. But they are what people are comprised of, and it is also how you get to the heart of the problem. Though, what is confidence comprised of? It comprises your mental, your emotions, and your physical. The difference, however, is what you are talking about. If it is a 10 out of 10 person on the physical scale of looks, they can't lie and say that they're physically a 2 because that would be a lie. And if that same person were to say that they are a 10, then that is confidence because they just are a 10. However, where I disagree with the whole hubris thing is that it is not totally truthful. If we were to be asked what would you rate yourself and for example I rate myself a 10 just for the sake of wanting to be on the top then that is hubris because I'm putting myself where I don't belong. But what I believe is that these types of women and men are doing is something closer to the terms delusion and narcissism. And how do they differ? Well, delusion is something that you feel like, like an emotion. See, those uh, three things will always come back. Because then the narcissism is where you think or your mental thinks that it is a 10. Confidence has to come from what you are talking about, not from a differing thing. Example, if I was asked about my looks or my physical, then I would have to answer honestly, not with my emotions or with my mental, but rather answer with what my physical is. And for a different example, if I was asked about my response to something or my emotion, then to be confident, 
I would have to answer from my emotions. So, to bring this back, if your sister across the table is saying that they're a 10, 10. And yet you also said that you're a 10. Well, just, just what? 10. And yet you both look very fracturing on the scale of similarity. Then clearly something has happened to where neither are 10s. They have different bone structuring, different skin color, different eyes, different hair, different nose, different eyebrows, and so on and so forth. They are different, yet claim to be the same. And I don't mean to just single out these two ladies, cause I could have just about taken any clip of women in Miami and said the same thing and have just about the same kind of answer. Now, to continue on though, the main question then becomes, is it because you are a 10? Or is it because you feel like you're a 10? Or is it cause you think you're a 10? If they are not a 10, then that would be hubris. And if it's because they think they're a 10, but they're not, then that would be akin to narcissism. Whereas if they feel like they're a 10, yet they're not, then that would be akin to delusion. And just to note, I am not someone in a medical field. So this is nothing actually medical. What I'm just saying is that it is akin to those things. I'm not here to say that it is, but rather to say that it is like those things. I am by no means diagnosing those ladies. I am just using them for example purposes for how things mental or emotional both interact with confidence in the case of their confidence being misplaced. But let me know what you're thinking down below. Do you think that their confidence is hubris, which is a physical lie, or delusion, which is an emotional lie, or narcissism, which is a mental lie? Or perhaps you think that they were just being confident because they are tens. In which case, if that is you, I would recommend getting checked out because both of those, quote, tens are nothing alike in the physical department. Not to say that they don't look good or whatever, I'm just here to point out the truth because I live in truth and tell the honest truth. But without further ado, you already know what is coming. Be better and live with the rules of truth, honesty, critical thinking, reliability, self-control, and consistency with your words and actions. Go with power and knowledge that you are listening to the better generation that we will build. And I encourage you to spread the word of this community to everyone because in this landscape, everyone can benefit from it. And it would be selfish of you to hide it. But you should also sustain that you will leave with the understanding that you will be a better person for being alongside us all. But without further ado, have a good one.